Good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your second video blog of the day for Friday, July 24th, 2015, around 4.22 in the afternoon, Berwick, Massachusetts. It's raining out right now, some severe thunder showers in the area, and could bring down a lot of... Um, rain and wind and stuff could knock out power so be careful out there some news to report it's happy national tequila day AT&T is officially owns DirecTV and also the Washington Capitals signed goaltender Brandon Hobie to a six-year contract extension worth 30.5 million dollars good for him and the WWE has kind of erased Hulk Hogan from history because Hogan said some racist remarks on a radio interview which surfaced on YouTube recently. The interview was from 2012. Kind of sad though, but you know, you shouldn't be saying racist stuff in this day and age anywhere because it, the consequences could be disastrous. And that's about it on the news. My second video blog subject of the day is the continuation of Berica Memorial High School Memories, also known as BMHS. I was a student at BMHS from 1991 through 1995, and here's some more memories I have of Berica Memorial High School. This memory is about the former janitor custodian of BMHS, Mr. Merle B. True, who was also nicknamed Buddy. Buddy was a custodian for the Berica school systems for close to 30 years. Originally, he was a custodian at the Lock Middle School for about 27 of, of his years of service. He spent the final three years at Berica Memorial High School. And I, he was the custodian and janitor of Berica Memorial High School for the first two years I was a student there. Mr. True looked like kind of an elderly looking doc, Dr. Emmett Brown from Back to the Future and stuff, but he wasn't a wacky scientist. He was a, he was a great guy, Mr. Mr. Bud, Bud True and stuff like that. I first met him probably in the middle of my freshman year at Berwicka Memorial High School, and Mr. True was a big, big baseball fan and stuff like that. He would tell stories of seeing players like Ted Williams and Dom DiMaggio and the Boston Braves and stuff in the 30s and 40s because he used to see a lot of those games when he was younger while well, growing up. He said that he's, he's he attended so many Red Sox games over the years and he says he's bought, he bought tickets, standing room tickets for the Red Sox games and he would always say he would always find a seat there and stuff like that and you know every time at lunchtime he would always kind of, kind of have like lunch in the cafeteria and stuff and I would sit down and talk to him and stuff like that and we talked a lot about baseball and stuff because he was a big baseball fan just like I was he he knows a lot of scores and stuff about the games and this and that and he was very, very impressed about my knowledge of baseball and stuff like that. And sometimes after school, I would like maybe talk to him more b before leaving about baseball and stuff like that. Mr. Buddy True was a great custodian and stuff, and a lot of the custodians there around the early 1990s were real popular with the students, especially there was one who was Mr. Walter Copley, who was a custodian there for so many years, and also Mr. Bob Crockett. He's not related to Davy Crockett and stuff. And also Mr. Dick Strain, his, whose daughter Debbie runs a dance studio, and it was another custodian who was real popular, Mrs. Rosanna Whiteway, whose, whose husband was Grant Whiteway, who was kind of the father of Berwick Lacrosse. He formed Berwick Lacrosse in the town of Berwick and stuff. So anyway, back to Mr. Buddy True. He was, you know, a great, great custodian and stuff. And, and you know, he, he lived in Berwick and stuff. And he 
was custodian for two years and, and stuff. But like the second year he was talking to him, he was kind of, you know, a little bit run down because he was, you know, very, very sore. He had a hip operation. He had, he had a hip replacement, but the hip replacement wasn't working. And this, by the middle of the second year, he was walking with, the, with a cane and stuff. And he had to go in for surgery to get it replaced again and he had it retire and stuff after that but you know I had great memories of Mr. Buddy True and stuff big 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 baseball fan and stuff and actually one time he told me he knew about a surprise party that the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Bellica was throwing for me for my sweet 16th birthday party in 1992 and he told me that he said he would have wanted to come but he he was busy because they had some big project to do at Bellica Memorial High School, like cleaning and stuff like that. Mr. Buddy True retired after the 1992-1993 school year, and he enjoyed retirement and stuff like that. He came back a few times to visit and stuff like that. I said hi to him and stuff like that. I saw him maybe one more other time after I graduated from high school, I think 1997 and stuff. And he was at like Griggs Farms getting a, getting like plants and stuff. And he, he looked pretty good and stuff like that. In 2004, Mr. Merle B. True or Buddy True passed away at the age of 75. So it is it's kind of sad though. And he, I liked Buddy True and stuff. He was a great guy, and that's a great memory I have of him at Bellica Memorial High School. And that's about it on that. Be back later for the third and final video blog in the night, which will be about is former NHL defenseman and current San Jose Sharks general manager Doug Wilson, a hockey hall of fame. I'll tell you that. And like I always say to on these video blogs, keep calm. And I'm a Julie Bretton guy. Molly Rosenblatt, a Fox 35 Rocks, and only three more weeks into the first ever Q&A video blog, so Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, send me questions, I already have a few already, send me a lot more, because this is going to be a monthly um, um, video blogs feature, is questions and answers, send me anything you want, and I'll answer them, see you later, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter.